What's going on YouTube? I'm going to do a product review on a hot wire foam cutter that I built to cut gun case foam, toolbox foam, and any other foam that uh, you would like to have professional results on made easy. This is the hot wire foam cutter that I built. Um, you don't, yours can look anything look different than this, but this one is a wood box that I constructed and it has a 12.6 volt 2 amp transformer which is right here. I purchased this at Radio Shack a dimmer switch, some aluminum stock and then it really just runs the voltage um, through that nichrome wire and heats it up which will in turn cut your foam. You can find the wiring diagram um, on different sites uh, post in the comments below if you'd like more information on how to actually wire it up. It's, I've had this uh, wire cutter for probably about two years, so it's it's been a minute since I did it, but it is super easy. Just a transformer, dimmer switch, and and nichrome wire, and you can set it up any way you'd like. If you want to cut, you know, the big insulation board, anything like that. As you can see here, this is where the dimmer switch comes through. It allows you to adjust the voltage to get the wire to the correct heat. If you get it too hot, uh, it, it'll end up melting and breaking. And if you don't get it hot enough, it won't cut your foam easy. I, this one's set up at about uh, 3 inches. I kind of made it to cut Pelican Case gun foam. Um, I'll show you the, pro the, the, the toughest part I started off doing on the internet talks a lot about using guitar strings. Uh, I played around with a bunch of different thicknesses and long story short after a short short bit of use they'll end up um, burning through and breaking. Um, on some other places I found uh, nichrome wire. I ended up finding some. Um, I bought 26 gauge. You can get it red hot. It doesn't stretch under heat uh, which in turn allows it you know, I've been using the same 4 inch section for probably, I've cut a few gun cases with it and it's still going strong. All I do, as you can see, you, you just uh, kind of twist it and then it slides over here. It transfers the voltage um, from the bottom to the top and this thing gets super hot. So I'll give you a quick product demo on how it works. Just go ahead and press it down. As you can see, it's getting red hot. And just pull it through. You can see how fast it cuts, no smoke. And that's it. I'll give you a kind of a close up of the gun case of what you're looking at because you're probably thinking that it melts it. But with the open cell foam, it's just like you cut it with a knife. Um, how I got these cutouts is I, you know, I can do a separate posting, but you, essentially you make a uh, tag board template to the shape of the gun until it passes through, and then you pin it in place, and you kind of just run that wire along the edge of your uh, template cutouts, and that gives you, you know, really secure, clean-looking uh, Pelican cases. You know, you, you spend two hundred dollars on the gun case, and the foam inserts are about forty bucks, so. For $20 more, you can make a hot wire foam cutter and have uh, really good results. So if you got any questions, post, uh, post them in the comments block, and uh, maybe I'll do a part two if you guys have any questions. Thanks a lot.